Hi everyone. Today's lesson is going to be about the color wheel. And I know a lot of you have already talked about this with me in the classroom, um, but it's super important. So I wanted to think of a way to make a project out of it that you could do at home. So today's project is the color wheel, but we're gonna do it a nature color wheel. Okay. Um, so what we are looking at is a triangle and the color wheel is a circle and you have three primary colors and these three primary colors are red, okay, yellow, and blue. And if you have red, yellow, and blue, you can make any other color. These three colors are the primary colors because they are what make up every other color in the rainbow, if you can believe it or not. Now, if you add these colors together, so if you were to take red and yellow, follow it up, and you were to add them together, you're gonna get what's called a secondary color. And does anybody know, anybody at home know what color red and yellow make together? I bet you do. It's orange. So red plus yellow, they're next to each other, creates orange. And that's a secondary color, as in two. Two colors mixed to make that. And then when you take blue and yellow, you're gonna get, I know my kindergartners know this because they did this as their first project. Do you guys remember when we made our grass? We get green. Okay, so blue and yellow make the secondary color, second meaning two, makes the secondary color of green. And last but not least, red and blue are gonna give us purple. Okay, so we have primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and we have secondary colors of purple, orange, and green. Now I'm writing on a dinner plate because I know that this comes off. Um, but if you have a paper plate, this works really great onto a paper plate or just cut out a circle of paper that also works. Um, now, there are even more colors on the color wheel, if, but we're gonna stick with just these today. But just so you know, if you were to mix red and orange together, you're gonna get what's called red orange. Makes sense, right, to call it red orange. And if you're gonna mix orange and yellow together, you're gonna get yellow orange. And those are called tertiary colors. Tertiary means like tri, like three. Yellow and green is, yep, yellow green. Blue and green is blue green. And when you write it or when you say it, you always say the primary color first. So instead of saying green, yellow, you always say yellow, green, because yellow is more important. Purple and blue, you're gonna get blue, and this technical word is called violet. Let's change that right now. So we have the right term. Violet. There you go. And then over here, it's going to be red, violet. And those are the secondary, the primary, and the tertiary colors. But today, I only want you to worry about the ones we did in color. So red, yellow, blue, green, orange, violet. Okay. So while I clean off my plate and give you somewhere to go, you're going to go on a nice little scavenger hunt. And we wanna make this based on the colors of the rainbow. So I want you to see if you can find and make a color wheel based on things outside. So I went outside and looked for a whole bunch of different items and purposefully looked for the colors of the rainbow to see if I could make my own color wheel. So the easiest way to do this when you're making a color wheel is to go outside, collect all your items, dump them all out in a nice clean area, and then start with your primary colors first. But one thing I want you to know, if you're collecting things such as mushrooms or berries, always make sure you ask an adult first because some of those things can be poisonous. So make sure you have an adult's permission and supervision when doing this. 
Okay, so I found all my reds first, and I found a couple of these little seedlings and a few red berries. Okay, and my next primary color, do you remember? Goes right here is yellow. So I found a few of these little yellow buds. And I tried not to destroy anything living. I just picked up what I found on the ground. There were a couple little flowers that I picked. There's one little flower in the center of a little flower. And then over here, this was my hardest one to find. I found these little teeny tiny blue flowers. Blue, I think, was my hardest one to find. So now I have red, yellow, and blue. So now we want to fill them in. So if I mix red and yellow together, if this was red paint and yellow paint and I was to mix them together, I would end up with orange. And this is a really pretty fungus, like a mushroom that I found. So make sure I'm going to wash my hands after I do this. But if you find something like this growing on a log, make sure you use gloves or you have something to pick it up with and you're making sure you're washing your hands and not touching your mouth. And then I found an old pine piece. For orange. Now moving on yellow and blue. I found a really pretty piece of moss and a few little green grass pieces to make my green and then blue and red make purple. And this is another one to be careful with. I found a really pretty purple stick but it's a pricker so I had to make sure to use scissors and gloves. So we don't want anybody getting hurt. Here's a really dark piece of purple some reddish purple and then this little purple flower on top and there you have it that's our nature inspired color wheel so go outside get some fresh air and see what you can come up with i can't wait to see bye